Uh, as she's explaining to, to us, I just kind of froze. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to imagine, you know. Um, and as I'm thinking about myself, it hits me like, I wonder what my mom's thinking right now. You want me to look straight at that camera? Yeah, straight or? at this camera and then straight at me. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Anthony. I'm 19 years old and this is my story. The most difficult time in my life was uh, when my older brother got into an accident and uh, he was put into the hospital for almost say a good two years, a little more than that. Five o'clock, police come knocking to our door. I remember my mom answering it and I just kind of threw it off. My mom comes up to my room and uh, she opens it and uh, she tells me uh, John's in the hospital. As we're driving over there, um, I'm just thinking in my head like, oh, he just probably fell, he just probably bumped his head a little bit and he was in the hospital, maybe had to get a couple stitches. Like I always imagine my older brother as like this big guy who couldn't get hurt from anything. But when we got to the hospital, it was completely different. We were waiting in this room and the doctor came to me, my mom, and my mom's boyfriend. She told us how he was on a skateboard and he was going down a hill and he fell and he hit his head. She grabs a piece of paper and she starts drawing his head and she starts explaining to us how his whole left side of his head, like the bone was just broken and uh, his brain started to swell. As she's explaining to, to us, I just kind of froze. I, didn't know what to think, I didn't know what to imagine. I turn a quick second and I look at my mom and uh, she just looks devastated. Just to where she's just speechless, she couldn't move, she couldn't talk, she looked pale, and she just looked like she was about to break down. I don't know how to describe that. I guess like the emotions that went through my head were just uh, hate. Like I feel like I wanted to hate someone for what had happened to my brother, but I didn't know who to get mad at. I didn't know how to feel. He wasn't the same person he was. When my brother got into the accident, he was in a coma for a month and a half, but when he got out of the coma, he wasn't out of it completely, and all he could do was have his eyes open. He could move his head a little bit, but I don't think he could have understand what was like going around him. And I remember looking at him, and he looked back at me, and he just seemed empty. Like, he wasn't himself. And, well, now he's home. My mom was able to make a whole new room for him in the first floor, uh, have a bathroom set up for him. He's a big mama's boy now. Mom does everything for him. He's slowly getting better to the point where you would look at him from day one, from when it happened, and wouldn't imagine the progress he's made. I guess what really made it difficult for me was um, I felt like I was going through it alone. Because usually when I have a problem, my brother was always there, but since he wasn't, 
I didn't have anywhere to turn to. I didn't know who to go to. So I'd probably say, just look around you and when you really see it, there's always someone to turn to, to talk to, and who would definitely help you in your situation. Did you feel nervous or no? Yeah. It's kind of weird, you know, just looking at that and just it's talking. Nervous. Yeah, it's Sorry. even more weird. I can do it more serious this time. Okay, like, you ready? Go. All right. My name's Anthony. <laughs>